What's up guys, TJ here with Snowboard Pro Camp. Today I'm riding out on Mount Hood at High Cascade Snowboard Camp and I'm checking out the GNU Carbon Credit Snowboard. The Carbon Credit is a great entry level snowboard. It's got a rocker dominant profile, but it's also loaded with lots of great tech. So the main things you guys are gonna notice when riding this snowboard is the rocker dominant profile. So it's rocker between the feet and camber underfoot, but overall it has a pretty heavy rocker and it feels pretty loose on the snow. It also has an asymmetrical side cut. So it has a designated heel side edge and on the heel side, it has a deeper side cut. So what that's gonna do is naturally allow you to carve a bit more aggressively on your heels and balance out that feeling between your heel side turns and your toe side turns. Flex wise, this board is pretty soft. I'd rate it right around a three out of 10. And it's also soft torsionally. So it's gonna have quick turn initiation. It's gonna be really maneuverable and good for presses and butters. But the trade off for that is you're gonna be giving up a little bit of stability in favor of forgivingness and playfulness. Whoa! Park wise, I had a pretty good time on this snowboard. Personally, I prefer camber dominant boards and I haven't ridden a board with this much rocker in a while, but after a few laps and feeling it out, I got used to it and it actually ended up being really fun in the park. A couple notes for park riding. It does have a pretty heavy rocker between the feet. So if you're sliding sideways on a rail, you really wanna make sure you're locked in between the feet. Otherwise, it's gonna just push you onto the tip and that soft flex is gonna flex out and you're gonna slide off the rail. I will say that that rocker profile really does come in handy when you're trying to do presses and butters. The bend of the board does half the work for you and the soft flex allows you to really get some nice tall presses without much effort. So if you like the look of butters and presses and you wanna get into those types of tricks, this is gonna be a great board to make that happen for you. This isn't a super stable snowboard. It's got a pretty loose feel as you're cruising around on the snow, especially when you're flat based, it's easy to swivel around on it. Cruising around, I noticed the same thing. The snow is able to overpower the board as you try to carve aggressively. If you go too hard and run into some deep slush or deep snow, that nose is gonna bend and flex out on you. But one good thing that comes out of that is some nice dampening. So if you're going over choppy terrain, the board's gonna absorb a lot of that and it's not gonna send every shock up into your knees and body. Rider in mind is gonna be the person just buying their first snowboard, but is committed to the sport and knows they're gonna get a lot of days on hill and wants to progress. It's gonna allow you to learn quickly. It's gonna be really maneuverable, but it's also gonna stand up to your progression as you start to ride more aggressively. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it helps you out. If you got any questions for me, the best place to hit me up is gonna be on Instagram, at Board Archive, or you can also leave your question down in the comments below. And if you wanna learn more about this snowboard, I'll have a link down in the description for you going to a full detailed written review that'll hopefully answer any questions that you still might have after this video. Hope you're having fun out there guys, and I'll see you next time.